Okay, so <clears throat> the other day um, on one of my Facebook groups that I was on, we were talking about making these small um, Eileen Hall notebooks, journals, and how we sealed them, how you might seal them to protect them. And I happened to mention that I wax a lot of mine, especially these. This is um, a special order for um, an author. This is the cover of the author's book, and she wanted, um, and we're having it put on a journal for her so that she's um, got her book art on a journal. Um, I like to seal, especially these ones, um, anything that I'm going to sell pretty much um, with wax. And I like to seal it with wax for two reasons. One is that, <clears throat> of course, you print this off. I print this on a inkjet printer. And so I really want something that's going to make it waterproof. Uh, I also want to protect the surface of this. And the wax also gives a really luxurious feel to this cardstock that is the cover of this book. So <clears throat> somebody mentioned that I should do a video, and so I decided that I would. What I use to melt my wax, and you could use anything that you wanted to, but I have this um, candle warmer, and what I have in it right now melting is soy wax flakes, and um, I think we just got them off Amazon. We, we got them to make to use essential oils and make our own lavender scented um, wax melts, and it is <clears throat> nice and clear, the soy wax is, and it melts really quickly. Uh, and so that's what I'm using. But in the past, I have used, I have some yellow beeswax that I also use with my essential oils. I've used that in the past, and that will give a slight yellow tinge to whatever you're putting it on. And I've also simply used a, um, a tea light. I've just melted down a tea light candle. It takes longer for it to melt down. But I have done that in the past and used that, and all three have worked well for me. Um, I simp I have been using the soy wax simply because I have it on hand, and like I said, it melts quickly um, <clears throat> enough for me to use. So as that melts down, I will tell you that I, I, how I've put this together is it is a piece of, um, of mat board that I have cut out, and on either side I have adhered... Uh, on the inside, there's a piece of decorated paper or decorative paper, and on the outside, this is simply um, a cream-colored cardstock. And then I've printed off the author's um, book cover art here to put on there. And then I've just kind of given it a little bit of a patina age with um, a little bit of antique linen, um, antique linen ink, and also some memento. Uh, desert sand around the edges which is a little bit darker so <clears throat> the memento is um, in this teardrop shape and I'm sure everybody has seen the distressing antique linen but just in case you have not uh, that's what that looks like and I have applied it uh, quite simply with just a <clears throat> makeup sponge um, and just put it more around the edges where people's fingers would be to kind of give it an aged look. So, <clears throat> to and to take that crispness off now, if you wanted that really crisp new look, that would be great. I tend to go more for a grungy look. You're also going to need, so once you've got this done, you're also going to need a piece of material that is lintless. Now, what I have for lintless material is this is a piece that I've cut from a flour sack towel. I got a package of flour sack towels at Walmart for I think under ten dollars. I think there were six or eight flour sack towels inside. Um, I use them for a lot of different things but I use them because they are lintless and um, I can do things like this and it won't leave lint behind. Um, and they're great for washing windows as well because they're lintless. What I've done for this purpose is I've cut one up. Um, and that way I've got it so that I can, you know, so that I can use it. And what I do, and this is melted enough now, is now you're going to notice this will change the color slightly. It will darken it slightly. Um, but I like to dip my piece of material in there and then start on one small inconspicuous spot. 
and just kind of do this and just kind of buff it in um, and then I'll go on this other side and do the same now when you do anything that you've printed on the printer you've got to be very quick and you have to here I'm actually really buffing it into the paper but when I do this and I'm going to do it last because this will pick up a little bit of that ink um, when you do this, you've got to do it lightly and quickly. And then once you've got one layer on, then you can go back in with another layer and buff it in um, better. But So I'm going to do all of this first. And as you see, I'm just buffing it in in circles. And you can see that it does darken it just a little. Um, not really a huge amount. It will darken the, the print over there a little bit more than this. And you can see that in some cases, you can see uh, that it's a little inconsistent, and I'll show you how I take care of that in a second. But I'm already picking up lint from something else, obviously, probably my sweater. I'm gonna get that off from there. I wanna make sure that that's clear. Pull that all out from there. And then we're going to start on this. Now this is the part that I told you you have to be quick and light. So we're just going to do a real quick and light. Just kind of put it on there quickly and lightly. All across where the printing is. Just, And I'm barely like touching the top. Now that I've got that on there, I can, and it actually didn't, as you can see, it didn't bring up much of any of that ink, um, which that worked really well. Sometimes it brings up a little bit more ink than that. Then I go in with the second one, and it still isn't bringing up any of that ink. And that is just inkjet printer ink. And I'm just gonna, now I can really buff it in there. Buff it in there. Take it in through here. Make sure that I've hit everywhere. Sometimes I kind of move it so that I can make sure that there is wax everywhere. And there is. All right. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. It feels a little thin. So we'll add a little bit. You just wanna make sure that you have wax. You've covered it everywhere. You don't want to have spots that aren't going to be waxed. Now, right now, it feels kind of waxy. Um, but what I do is, I'll, I'll set with this. So I'm going to shut that off and move it to the side. You're not going to use any more wax, but you are going to do more buffing. What I do is I take my heat gun and I try to hit it with some heat. I hit it with some heat, and then I buffer in a little bit more. I'm going to keep doing this until I've got that satiny feel underneath my fingers. And as you go, and you'll know that you've done it, because when you go across, you won't feel, it doesn't feel waxy. It just feels really satiny. Now up here, I can feel that it's still kind of waxy up towards the end. And don't overdo it. It will smoke. I've had it do that to me before, smoke before. I'm going to feel, so that whole front page is totally done. Now I'm going to do the center. And as your heat gun heats up, you can do it less time and less time. It doesn't take nearly as long as the heat gun, you know, heats up and gets hot. And that just, it's just got such a smooth feel. It's such a smooth finish. And it's matte, so you don't get a whole lot of shine. I just love the way that this turns out. And the back.
and you can even feel it like that it's done its thing um, because your cloth is going to move across it really easy. Oops, really easily. Like it's just going to slide like like butter, and it just feels so smooth. Now, I've I've put several coats on before. I'm probably only going to put one on this because it's a light color. I see that my I did that with my ink. That is not wax. That's um, how I inked the back of it. But, um, and that's just as, that's it. That's how you wax one of these little book covers. And um, it's super easy. It's really cheap. I've still got enough wax in, in my melter that I could do, I don't know, probably six or seven more books. It takes very little, little wax. Um, and it works great. Love the outcome. So give it a try. Um, I hope it works as well for you. Thanks.